Hello my horror movie peeps and a happy Halloween to you guys out there if you're watching this video the day it releases We just got ourselves a yummy little scrumptious tree Because it would not be Halloween as a horror movie fan if we didn't get some sort of spooky news And we just got one on one of the biggest legends Friday the 13th aka Jason Voorhees <laughs> What I'm going to do here for you guys in this video is breaking down the latest news that just came out that Friday 13th is finally returning after being stuck in legal battles for years coming to us on Peacock as a prequel series. I'm going to be breaking down all the details involved with this. Why exactly they're going this route? Are we even going to see adult Jason in his hockey mask? Spoiler alert. No. <laughs> But hey, at least this is a major step than us getting zero Friday 13th content, and I think there could still be something really awesome in here. So I'm gonna need to hear from you Friday 13th fans. You hear all the details involved with this. What do you think the possibilities are of us still getting Jason? He might not be an adult and the hockey mask, but we get little deformed boy. That's fun. <laughs> as well as your speculation and theories to what exactly they could be doing in here. All right, so yes, as we were all just enjoying the Halloween season, having a little bit of fun in our homes, this news dropped out of nowhere, coming from The Hollywood Reporter, saying Friday the 13th prequel series Crystal Lake in the works at Peacock from Brian Fuller. Letting us horror fans know we're going to be getting a prequel series based on Friday the 13th that is going to be titled Crystal Lake will have Brian Fuller behind the production of it who made the Hannibal series, a horror series that a lot of people loved and were disappointed when it got canceled after three seasons, and also A24 backing them up making this thing, and I have so many conflicting thoughts about this. Dissecting this bit by bit because there are so many different angles to take with this story, why is it a prequel series and why is it called Crystal Lake. Here the article gives us a great little brief explanation to why. In May, Victor Miller, the original writer of the Friday the 13th, emerged victorious, giving him control over the script and original characters, but not over Friday the 13th the title, nor the concept of an adult Jason, or even the hockey mask, which was only introduced in the third movie, hence the title of Peacock offering Crystal Lake. So essentially, this is just one of the ways that they have to loop all around this legal struggle with Friday the 13th because he's essentially been split in half. I've made countless videos on this and have explained it to you, so hopefully you understand, but when the two parties went to war over who should own the name Friday the 13th, the courts did agree that Victor Miller, the original writer, should retain some rights to his original project, but it doesn't make sense for him to own everything about Jason, especially since the one we know and love didn't get fully created until the third Friday the 13th movie. So even though this legal battle recently ended and the courts were done, these two people who were fighting for years in court still at the end of the day have to come together, shake hands, come up with some sort of agreement so we can get a fully fledged Friday the 13th movie that has his original backstory, the idea of him as an adult with a hockey mask holding a machete, the name actually being Friday the 13th, that seemed like a long shot. Why would two people fighting for years then want to shake hands? Us horror fans like to remain optimistic that maybe this was still a possibility but it looks like as of right now that's not happening and instead Victor Miller is taking what he owns of Friday the 13th and trying to make something of that using the characters and script from the original movie. So my fans of big adult hockey mask machete wielding Jason Voorhees that's not gonna happen and that's interesting to say because before this whole legal battle happened and the rights to Jason Voorhees were kind of split we were about to get a CW Friday the 13th series that did have Jason Voorhees as the lead character he was going to be going around stalking some people killing and whatnot we know what cw shows were like who knows how long that would have lasted i did a whole video back in the day on that canceled show so it's not going to be anything like that this isn't the first time we've heard the announcement of a friday 13th series here are some things brian fuller the man behind this tv series had to say saying i discovered friday 13th in the pages of famous monster magazine when i was 10 years old and i have been thinking about this story ever since when it comes to horror a24 raises the bar and pushes the envelope and I'm thrilled to be exploring the campgrounds of Crystal Lake under 
under their banner. And NBC Universal, Susan Rovner is simply the best at what she does. It's a pleasure and honor to be working with her again. And that's one of the things with this reveal that has me a little hesitant is A24's involvement. Because if you've been watching my channel, you know when it comes to A24 horror, it's very hit and miss for me. I love A24 when they stick to their dramas, drama comedies, even their thrillers. But when it comes to their horror movies, it's a real toss of the dice whether I'll end up liking it or just feeling kind of indifferent about it. Like I love Hereditary X, Pearl, but I wasn't the biggest fan of movies like Midsommar, The Witch. And I know some of you guys will crucify me for those thoughts, but at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. Still, I don't think you can deny that A24 has a very specific style and tone with a lot of their movies that it feels like this series might actually be very serious. In fact, will focus a lot on the character development of whoever they decide to choose to be the main characters for this series. I would think the no-brainer is make Pamela Voorhees, right? Your main character of this series. If you're not gonna let us have Jason Voorhees as our our main character you gotta give us the next best Voorhees, and that's Pamela. Here's what NBC had to say about this announcement. They said, Friday 13th is one of the most iconic horror franchises in movie history, and we were dying to revisit this story with our upcoming drama series, Crystal Lake. We can't wait to get to work with Brian Fuller, a gifted visionary creator who had the pleasure of being a longtime friend and collaborator, along with our incredible partner at A24, in this updated version for Peacock that will thrill long-standing fans of the franchise. Now, that's what one bold statement to make is that this will actually entice fans of the franchise because I think the number one way to entice them is give us Jason Voorhees. But also some of the key words they mention in here is revisit, is update the story. So I don't know if this movie is going to be taking place in the late 70s, early 80s where the original Crystal Lake kind of happened. In the original Friday 13th, Jason drowned in 1957. So a prequel series focusing on Crystal Lake would have it set in the 50s. But with them saying it's going to be revisited and updated, we could maybe see this story happening then in the 80s or 90s. That way if they somehow how continue this and we get a dull Jason somewhere in the future he can be set in present day if not I wouldn't be surprised then if then this entire series is just set in present day and it's still considered a prequel now there have been some very successful prequel like series for horror characters like Hannibal is one of them we have also gotten one called Bates Motel both of those have been really raved about amongst fans and some consider those great prequels for their horror movies I was mentioning that I think the best way to go with this show is to make it about Pamela Voorhees this wouldn't be the first time a prequel focusing on Pamela Voorhees was ever pitched to the studio or people who own the Friday 13th. Just this year, an article came out that the original director of Jason Lives had pitched a movie titled The Diary of Pamela Voorhees, where it was going to be a movie taking us back to why Pamela Voorhees is this bloodthirsty person and how she may be passed on those killer traits to her child, Jason. If that's honestly the approach we have in this series is just the downward spiral of Pamela Voorhees getting birth with this deformed child that I'm sure would be hard for any parent but then still having all the love and admiration for this kid wanting to send it to camp seeing other kids bully him treat him wrong make fun of him and then she just slowly starts going crazy that she kills people I'd actually tune into that, even more so if we start to see those killer traits accidentally getting passed on to Jason and we get kind of an idea to why he's bloodthirsty. I think there's actually something really cool and creative there. It's a bummer that we won't get Jason in the hockey mask and machete going around, but who knows, maybe he will be a large part of the story. Maybe we'll actually even see Kid Jason do some killing. Again though, that is just my speculation and what I would hope the series would be about. With them calling it Crystal Lake, it worries me that it'll have nothing to do with Pamela Voorhees or even Jason Voorhees. That this could literally just be focusing on Camp Crystal Lake, the camp itself, random camp counselors, maybe a couple of characters in there. Who knows, maybe some supernatural elements that Crystal Lake is like a beacon for hell or something and when Jason drowned there again, gave him the supernatural powers he has today. I'm gonna think they went with the name Camp Crystal Lake because that's something to associate with Jason Voorhees other than just Friday the 13th. But I mean, through this lawsuit, Victor Miller should own the rights to Jason Voorhees the name, so I'm surprised he doesn't call it Jason Voorhees. That would be the most iconic way to go with it, but Camp Crystal Lake works also. So again, when it comes down to it, guys, this is great news because at least it's some Friday the 13th content headed in our lives. We haven't had that in forever. This could be exciting and interesting. It's aspects of the Friday the 13th 
15th world that some fans love if it is focusing on Pamela Voorhees. Heck, we could even get some information on Jason's dad for once. I know comic books have done that, but movies and TV shows have not. There's interesting things to explore here that could get me pumped, but we'll have to wait and see. But as far as us getting another movie with Jason and the hockey mask on the big screen, that looks like it's still a long time away, and this is just kind of our appetizer or our hold me down until we eventually get that. But this is where I throw it off to you guys. You hear we're getting a prequel series titled Camp Crystal Lake. It won't have adult Jason in the hockey mask. Is this something you'd be checking out, or are you just gonna skip it? Hope everybody has a happy Halloween. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.